group called the Center for Socioeconomic Studies complained about the survey instrument that is going to be used to identify ethnicity. And they specifically point to number four, the fourth column, which refers to the ever ethnic group, which doesn't have subgroupings with their specific nomenclatures. Why is it that that is the way it is? And this group is complaining that the other ethnic groups have their subgroupings, but not the ever ethnic group. Let me put on record that this has been the situation since the 2000 census, the 2010 census, and in 2021, we are seeing the same. The concern has come up because the other seven groups, as you rightly say, said, have sub-ethnic groups for purposes of facilitating the data collection exercise. At Ghana Statistical Service for both 2000 and 2010, although we have the sub-ethnic groups in the instrument, we do have them in there just for purposes of eliciting the right response. This came to light in previous censuses, maybe the 1960 or the 1984 census, partly because with some of the major ethnic groups, like Akan, you can identify about 19 other sub-ethnic groups. And some of the sub-ethnic ethnic groups over time have tended to be more pronounced than the major ethnic groups. So if you ask somebody, based on our experience in the field, what is your ethnic group, instead of the person saying, I'm an Akan, the person identifies more with a tree, a Fanti, and so on. So what you're saying essentially is when people give a response, based on the response that is given, you will categorize it under the large ethnic group. Under grouping. the major ethnic group, yes. All right. Uh, recent events has led to a lot of um, awareness about whether there are attempts to suppress one ethnic group or not. And in the light of this coming out, some it may not be the GSS's intention. However, others with a certain agenda or ideological view may seek to use this data for political gerrymandering or for any other reason. Maybe even it gets it is data that is made available to institutions that determine whether we have a new district, a new constituency, and the like. How would you respond to that? Thank you, Jifa. Indeed, let me emphasize what I said earlier on. Once an enumerator comes to you and asks the question, what is your ethnic group? It is self-identifying. So it's the respondent who would have to say, I'm, I'm an Eve. This the person says, I'm Hodume, which is those who come from the whole Hohoi area. If they say I'm Hodume, how would they then be classified? Based on our trial censuses, based on our experience in the past, and our engagement during the data collection stage, the broad understanding that we got was that Eves would always identify themselves as Eves. If this issue had come up a week, a month, sorry, two months ago, six months ago, during our consultation period, it wouldn't have been an issue at all. And indeed, it is not an issue now. If we just want to see the sub-ethnic the sub -ethnic groups for the ever uh, major group, for purposes of facilitating accurate data, this can be done. And already we are in discussions with the um, regional house of chiefs, the president of the regional house of chiefs. And if the recommendation is that as part of the questioning, we would want to see the sub-ethnic groups forever. Ghana Studies Car Service will gladly do that on account that that is going to facilitate um, the data that we need. But, but certainly that has not been the trend since 2000. That has not been the trend since 2000. Okay. But I would want to hint that once the process of the data collection for 2021 PAC varies from that of 2000 and 2010, it's likely to affect our ability to compare. Mm. Because in previous censuses, the question has been, what is your ethnic group? And our experience in the field is that once you are speaking to an heir there, there is a 100% chance that you would hear, I'm an heir okay. rather than hearing a sub-ethnic group, which will warrant the need for you to probe. And indeed, if now it's going to come up, that there's a sub-ethnic group that we are not aware. Given what has, happening, what has happened in the past couple of days, we're going, to, we're going to make this information available to our enumerators anyway. And now we are getting some sub-ethnic groups that are languages, some 
names that are coming up are that are languages, but that they are not sub ethnic groups. So and there's there, a there fine be distinction some between there. yes. Right. But once these things are coming up, we're going to work with the house of the regional house of chiefs, as I indicated. Get uh, I'm told there are about three major sub ethnic groups, not languages. Once we get this, we're going to add it to our training and ensure that the enumerators are aware of it, so that once they approach the respondent, the households, and it comes up, they're going to identify with it. So, so the data from the sub-ethnic groups will not be used for any specific thing. At the end of the day, when the data is compiled, it's mainly about the major ethnic groups. That's Indeed, that has been the be. position of Ghana Studies Car Service since the 2000 Population Housing Census, 2010 Population Housing Census, and indeed the 2021 Population Housing Census, we're not going to do anything different. What we're going to make sure is that for the, from the 2021 Population Housing Census, even the micro data that is going to come out would suppress the data on sub-ethnic groups so that even if it's not Ghana Studies Car Service, that data would not be used by any agency. As I said, it's just to facilitate the arrival of the major ethnic group um, category. All right.